Okay, hey artists, first thing I want you to do is take a scrap piece of paper, grab your messy mat and fold it in half. And you should have a variety of paintbrushes. And I'm gonna show you a couple different things. First of all, make sure, you know, this is tempera, which you will be practicing making trees or profiles or silhouettes with this, okay? And if it says acrylic, just make sure you grab the right one. Acrylic is what you're gonna be painting on your canvas. Acrylic sticks better to your canvas. You should have your name on the back already. Now, once you get your background painted, then um, we are going to, like I said, be practicing using tempera. You can use any color you want on here, have a variety of paintbrushes. So you have your sheet folded in half and um, also wanna make sure that you're aware if you do by chance get a bottle and it says tempera for your canvas, you want acrylic, okay? So that being said, when you're making a tree, um, you want, to think of less is more. And if your paints are goopy, you can actually take the bottom of Miss Paula, stir it and wipe it. So I'm just choosing blue and I'm gonna practice because you don't want to start making your trees and then mess up, like this probably need to be stirred, but I'm not gonna worry about stirring it, um, mess up your canvas. So you want to practice by knowing how much paint to put on here. So I'm gonna start by putting a tree because a lot of kids have put trees on there. And you can also create your own stencil, meaning, and see how I've got my hand on the grippy, and I'm just slowly, I don't think you can see it. Okay, artist, so I'm gonna try this from the side view so you can actually see, because you couldn't see with my hand in the way. So you take and you are just using the tip of your brush, I'm gonna start with another tree, and I'm just gently coming up to make my tree. And you can actually, when you get to the top, you can just have it be like this. Okay, and then you would come in and you could make it darker and thicker at the bottom. And I'm just gently using my paintbrush, okay? Then maybe using just the edge of it. And then you could come in and you could actually paint the bottom of the tree. So this is a technique to do. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to do a smaller tree. Okay, artists, you can also get these little trays here that you can mix in. Um, so let's say that my paint is really thick. So if you look in here, the blue is kind of thick. You can actually take a little bit of paint with the edge of your paintbrush, put that in this tray, take my water, and I'm gonna take this blue because it's already has blue on it, and put, I also have eyedroppers at the back of the sink, which you guys have used before. Put a little bit of water in here, okay? And I'm going to mix it around. This is if your paint is thick and you're trying to paint a very delicate tree, okay? And what I was mentioning earlier is if you want to create a stencil, you can, that means you've drawn something and you cut it out and then you would use it on your canvas. Let's hope I can, it seems a little more natural for me to paint this direction. So you're always pulling it towards away, I'm sorry, pulling it away from you. And every time you pull, it would be in the shape of a Y and it is getting smaller, well, if you're doing a tree, it's getting smaller and smaller, and you would just kind of gently bring this out, and it keeps just getting smaller and smaller as you create your branches, okay? And I would highly suggest practicing this. Then you can come in and you can make this darker. But see how, because it's a thinner paint, it's easier to work with, okay? So this could be a branch that you could create. Um, here's the other one that I did, but I'm gonna show you this one again. When I have the thinner paint, it might work a little bit better. See if I can do it where you can see it this direction because it's easier for me to video. And I'm holding the brush up like this, and then I'm just going, working my way up. Okay, and it kind of looks like a little pine tree. And then when I get to the top, I kind of just use the edge, move my hand here, edge of the paintbrush. Okay, then when I come down here to the bottom, I just have it go this direction there. So that would be like the silhouette of my tree. So practice on your paper first. Another thing that you could do, practice different types of brushes. And then on this one here, I could actually come back in and I could just have little dots of a tree. Okay, maybe, you know, like I said, this is on top of your um, canvas that has already been dry and has a couple coats. So while you're waiting on it to dry, I would encourage you to open up your Chromebook, find a visual, of, and look up silhouette, 
okay? And when, you, when you're painting on top of yours, you will probably be using black, okay, to, for your foreground of what you decided. Again, you can create your own stencil if it's yours. You draw it on a scrap piece of paper, cut it out, and then you could use it to trace on your canvas to create it. So um, again, this was with temper practicing. When you use your uh, canvases, you use acrylic.